Hello and welcome to another installment of AA Computers and Technology. And today we are going to be doing some troubleshooting because my sister came down to me. Uh, she was going to play Skyrim on my Asus G75 gaming PC, which I really don't use anymore because I have my uh, editing rig back here. Um, so she plays a lot of games on this. Um, so she was going to play Skyrim. She went upstairs. She turned my laptop on. And then soon after she came back downstairs uh, telling me that the laptop wasn't working. I went upstairs to check and sure enough, the system wouldn't even power on. Um, and it's weird because this system doesn't really move or anything. It just sits on a desk. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on with this. So I'm going to turn it around here, show you guys what I'm talking about, and hopefully fix the problem during this video. All right, so let me show you guys what's going on. When I went upstairs to turn this on, I did get something out of it. The fan started spinning up. Uh, some of the LEDs came on for the power and the caps lock. Uh, and I think the num lock came on too. Uh, but I wasn't getting anything from the monitor. The backlight wasn't even turning on. And the system did not run through the power on self-test. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on now. Oh, wait. What? Okay, well, I didn't even get this far last time. That's weird. All of a, all of a sudden, it decided to cooperate with me. Um, reboot and select proper boot device. Okay, so I'm going to go into the BIOS. It appears something's wrong with the system configuration. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to go into the BIOS and select to boot from the hard drive. That's really weird. That shouldn't have happened. Uh, let me check out what is going on. This is kind of strange. All right, well, I went into the BIOS to make sure everything was configured properly, and it was, and it still will not boot from the hard drive, which is a pretty bad sign. I'm going to go ahead and run a drive diagnostic tool on this and check if the hard drive's dead. And if it is, I'm going to be pretty angry because the system's only like three years old. Um, so, I mean, that, oh my god, you got to be kidding me. There's no way the hard drive died already. All right, I'm going to run that diagnostic and cross my fingers. Um, hopefully something just happened to the boot sector in Windows and I can fix that easily. Um, but yeah, if the drive's dead, I mean, I don't, I don't have any more drives in the back. I'm going to have to order one online. Ah, I, I really hope it's not dead. Fingers crossed it's not dead. Okay, so I have a bootable version of the Seagate Drive Diagnostics tool on the CD. I'm going to put it into the system and see what it says about this hard drive. To put this in short terms, oh crap, it's not even detecting any drives, which is wonderful. So I'm going to open this up and make sure everything is properly connected. Um, but yeah, I think that drive died, unfortunately. Um, I, God, I, I, hope, I hope it just lit out from the uh, SATA connectors, but that's, that's a very slim chance because I'm pretty sure those are screwed in. All right, so that drive is definitely still connected to the SATA ports on the system. I'm going to try reseeding it and see if that does anything. Um, but yeah, it looks like the drive's dead. I'm really disappointed. And just for reference, here is all of the drive information. This is a Seagate Momentous Drive model ST1000LMO24. And this is uh, one terabyte running at 5,400 RPM. So I'm going to toss this back in the system and see if reset or reseeding it does anything. Um, I doubt it will, but who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe a miracle will happen right now. All right, so I'm going to slide it in and put the screws in and boot this thing back up. But, I mean, I doubt anything's going to change. Drive has been reseeded. Not really confident that's going to do anything, but I'm still crossing my fingers. Let's do this. Come on. Come to life. Give me something. Oh, you know what? I left that CD in with um, the uh, drive utility. Ah. There we go. All right. We are not getting anything. Gosh darn it. Ah. I went ahead and just as a last resort thing, reset everything in the BIOS and rebooted. And surprisingly, um, it appears that uh, we are detecting the Windows installation now and it's trying to boot. So let's see what happens.
and everything is working fine now. The system's been on for about 30 minutes and I have not had any issues with it. Ah, uh, that was a stupid simple repair. Oh, I don't know why I just didn't reset the settings in the BIOS from the get-go. That really should have been the first step. I was just being a big pessimist and, you know, I just assumed the worst from the beginning. I thought the system was completely dead at first and then when it came on and it gave me that error message, I just assumed the hard drive was dead. So, yeah, definitely should have reset the settings in the BIOS from the get-go. I think I'm going to call this video, uh, you know, stupid simple troubleshooting because that was kind of silly. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, sort of interesting so I think I'll still uh, publish it. But yeah, really easy to repair. I'm glad the system still works and I'm uh, going to get this back upstairs and give it to my sister. And unfortunately, I'm not really sure why this happened in the first place. The most recent hardware change was about five months ago when I uh, took out a stick of RAM to put in my school computer, but the system has been used since then and it has been restarted and shut down and there's been no issues with it. Um, and then the last time I changed the settings in the BIOS was, um, God, I don't even know. I don't think I've ever changed the settings in the BIOS for this PC. Um, so yeah, really odd. And it was acting funny uh, at first. I wish I could have caught the uh, first attempt to power it on on camera because as I said, I got nothing from the screen and I didn't get a power on self test. So that was even stranger. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated in the comment section if something else happens. I mean, the system's been running fine. I have restarted it and it booted up again with no problem. So yeah, I am kind of concerned that there might be a bigger problem with this system, but as of now, it doesn't look like that. So crossing my fingers again that uh, the system is A-OK. -okay. So I think that's going to be about it for this video. This was actually a pretty short one. Maybe this time I'll get it under five minutes. That'll be a pretty big accomplishment. Um, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology, which will most likely be Software Sunday. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.